Hey. Yeah, it does look great. Everything's exactly what I, I thought it would look in my head. Yeah? Exactly there. Wow. It looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, what, three more days. Three more days. Three more days. Three more days. Do you feel more pressure anywhere laying down that you did it when you were seated up? No, I feel more comfortable. You do? Okay. Man. I got a line on my face from my mask. We just got done at the chiropractor. How did you feel? This was your first session. It wasn't as bad as I thought I would be. I honestly felt like a mini massage. My birth center has a chiropractor that has like a, I don't know if you would call it a residency, but basically she does her practice there. But I started going like three weeks ago because I was feeling like a lot of lower back pain. I had a lower back pain with Sarai and it was like really bad. And I just kind of dealt with it back then, but never really thought to actually go to a chiropractor to see what was going on. And so I finally went this time because it was just easy she was already at the birth center and so booked some time and got my scans done and everything which is what he did today and come to find out I had a whole bunch of stuff that was like off which was causing multiple different issues things that have probably been there for years and years and years that have my body just got used to and just normalized but definitely with the pregnancy things got exaggerated so going was kind of like my okay we got to do something because the pain was just getting too much yeah so got my my scans back and stuff so I've been going weekly for yeah the past three weeks or so now it's probably been a month but it's been so good like I feel like a lot of my back pain is gone Mark was also having some back pain and stuff too he wanted to go and get checked out so we'll see what his scans say next week but yeah so it's been good though so if you are pregnant or just like having back pain or just any sort of like weird stuff like that definitely give the chiropractor a shot yeah. Wanna be a part of the conversation, Mama? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's wrong? What? You can't get out right now in the car. <laughs> what? Get your finger out of your nose, girl. Nasty. 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 How are you gonna put in both? Yeah, put both in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty, girl. Get them fingers out of your nose. Where you going? <laughs> Where you going, Mama? Where we going? Say hi. You tired? Look at this bathroom, it's just so cute. So I'm just sitting here watching Sarai outside, but I just wanted to hop on and give y'all just a little pregnancy moment. Today's one of those days where I feel like I got a good enough amount of rest yesterday, but I'm feeling so tired, like so tired. I'm 26 weeks, which is six months. And I was feeling nauseous last night. I was having a lot of like round ligament pain. And it's so crazy how different this pregnancy has been because I feel like Sarai sat like lower in me, but my son, is sitting like, I don't know, like out. My belly is like pushing out more. So that's a new feeling because I feel like he's sitting up higher and kicking and moving so much more. And I don't know if it's necessarily a gender thing or what, but I remember feeling Sarai kicking stuff like closer to like 28 weeks. I mean, I probably was feeling her move a bit, but I don't remember it being as like intense. It's like not a painful thing. I don't even know how to explain it. It's literally like something is in there <laughs> and it's moving by itself, but it's Friday. We had a pretty full week this week. I didn't vlog much because we were just like out and about getting things done. Also this week was kind of a blur <laughs> a little bit. Last weekend was Easter, which was really amazing. And we did a ton of stuff with family. So maybe that's why I'm also feeling a bit tired because usually we relax on the weekends, but last weekend was like full of events. 
yesterday we were like out and about. I worked a little bit in the morning and then we went out to have lunch with some of our friends, Wanda and her husband, Lorelco, which was really great. We got to hang out with them for the first time, like in person. If you're not familiar with Wanda, she's an incredible mom of two beautiful boys that she conceived via IVF, her and her husband. And she's just, you know, one of those people, super down to earth, super genuine. We had a really great time hanging out with them yesterday. We were gonna bring Sarai, but Sarai's at a place where she doesn't like to sit still. <laughs> so we used to take her out like and go eat and stuff a lot. But the last week or two when we've taken her out, like she's just been acting up, okay, acting up. So we were like, you know what? We gonna take a break today. We gonna just, us two. But next time, definitely, cause they're actually not far apart in age. They're about four months apart, I think. But you know, it's just really great to like find people that you can really identify with where you're at currently in your life. I think like that's the beauty of, you know, making friends during school and like people in your class and then people at work, like you have some sort of like common experience happening. And for us, we're just in a different place now, you know, and, and having community that reflects like where you're at in life is important. Like it's important to also hang on to those people from your past and those that are still, you know, bringing you fruitful friendships and relationships. But it's also important to recognize when you need like a new tribe and when you need support for new life experiences and being parents and being young and married and all that like it's really important to have people around you that have those same life experiences so that you can support each other so you can talk about things and I think like before being married and being parents like we were very much so like weary of that whole oh you don't have friends when you're married you leave all the people behind before and it's like this whole division right between like your single friends and your married friends and all that and and I used to think of it as like a negative thing, like, oh, I would never like leave my other friends. But now that I'm on this side of things, I understand it more because your priorities change. Fortunately and unfortunately, like my day-to-day -day life is just not as, you know, free as it used to be. I'm looking for relationships that help me grow and inevitably that means that I have to surround myself with people that share my same values and also it's really helpful to have other moms other married couples around that can just help you feel normal <laughs> because sometimes it can feel lonely especially during this pandemic like making sure that you have people that also understand without you having to explain everything you know is so important Just working outside a little bit today. The weather is so nice, but I just actually got done filming a video and stuff for a Sephora campaign that I'm doing on clean beauty. That's what's on my face right now, all clean beauty products. And I shared a bit of kind of how I navigate clean beauty and how easy it is to do at Sephora, honestly, because you know, for a lot of us, like clean beauty is like a new category. Like we're not necessarily used to like looking at ingredients when it comes to makeup and skincare. Well, maybe it's skincare but makeup especially I'm not looking at ingredients with makeup but now you know as I've gotten older and like become a mom I'm caring about what I'm you know getting in contact with Sarai uh, especially because we're always like kissing and touching cheeks and all that I wanted to start being more mindful of like the products that I was putting on my skin you know and so uh, I started really getting into clean beauty truly shopping at Sephora because they have the clean beauty seal the green seal that says on all their products that are clean, hair care, makeup, skincare, all that, it has that green seal. So it just makes it super easy to know like without having to even read ingredients, like what's gonna be clean and what's not. And so I wish more like retailers would do that just because it would just make it so much easier to just navigate like all the products that are out there because there's just so much to choose. I Listen, I know y'all, I know that it's hard to choose products now more than ever because there are so many great brands out there, but you don't know what's gonna work for 
you, you don't know certain ingredients, keeping up with all that stuff. Yeah, so I did a, a video about that. And yeah, we were gonna go out, run to like Ikea and a couple other places, but we ended up staying home because Mark had stuff to do. So I was like, oh, I wanna do, I wanted to like kind of go out and do something cause like my makeup's done, my hair's done, but that ain't gonna happen. But I mean, what's new with this pandemic? Like we're used to not going anywhere anyway. So it is what it is. <laughs> I'm just out here with Sarai and Bolt and they're running around playing and I'm getting a vlog up actually now. I'm getting up a vlog. I'm gonna start editing what I shot earlier today. After that, we don't really have any big plans. We're just gonna chill out at the house. We're having folks over tomorrow for church. So Mark is gonna run to the store in a little while to like just get ingredients and stuff because whenever we invite people over for church to our house, like we always like to feed. So <laughs> usually Mark, you know, cooks something and so we can all like munch and you know, get the word. So yeah, it's a good time. It's definitely a good time. So yeah, we're just gonna, you know, knock some things out for the rest of the day and enjoy our Saturday.